Today I'm going to show you how to turn any photo into an SVG file and then import it into Cricut Design Space for us to customize. For this project we're going to be using Puff Print Heat Transfer Vinyl, a Cricut Explorer Air 2, and a Fancier Studio 16x24 heat press. Everything used in this video is going to be linked down below in the description. I'm always uploading videos helping you start your clothing brand with your Cricut so make sure you hit that subscribe and if you have any questions meet me in the comment section. I just want to say thank you guys so much. I said a couple of months ago in a couple of videos that I was working really hard to make this my full time career. I want to be a full time content creator. You guys honestly responded to that in such an amazing way and my growth on my platforms has been amazing and I just want to make sure I'm holding up my end of the deal. That's why I been going so hard in the content you guys have been loving the videos and i just can't wait to increase the volume for you guys all right let's go ahead and get started so the first thing i'm going to do is set up a photo shoot so i can get the proper picture that i want to turn into an svg file in this video i'm using professional equipment but don't let that stop you this works 100 percent the same way with any smartphone i always recommend to take a couple of different pictures so that way you have a decent selection the better lighting you have the more detail you're going to be able to get away with when cutting your vinyl if all you have is a lamp then go ahead and bring that closer to your subjects and make whatever you have work all right so now that we have our pictures i'm going to go ahead and meet you at my laptop so that way we can turn our pictures into an svg file and then import it into cricut design space all right so now we're at our laptop so these are all the pictures that we took i put them all in a folder where i'm going to remember where they're going to be at so now let's go ahead and go to the internet so the website that i use is called cute cutter um as a guy his name is a little whatever you know but i do love what this website offers so i do recommend you guys check this out if you guys have other ones i could use you know leave it down below in the comment for all of us but this honestly for it being free it does everything i needed to so if you don't know of any i do recommend you try this one out so right here our dashboard shows all of my projects um if you guys have been following for a while you might have seen some of these like this one the mac miller ones uh this house of a thousand corpse ones um but yeah now let's go ahead and hit upload new image or we can drag and drop so we're gonna go ahead and do this one right here all right cool so for this picture i'm using the whole frame so let me before we get into this let me show you guys something because i do want you guys to get your full value out of this so let's say for example we imported something that's gonna need to have the background taken out right so let's say let's just do this one for the heck of it right whoops all right so we're gonna want to do remove background so that way it gets just the silhouette so right here where it says mark foreground this is what we're gonna use to pretty much just kind of outline the area that we're gonna want to keep right and it doesn't even need to be perfect like that'll probably be perfect right there then we're gonna do mark foreground and then we're just gonna go over the areas that we want the background to come out and then you can always come in and adjust areas you know so then we'll hit done and then you see it looks a little weird at first but now we're just going to go to background color we'll choose white just so we can see what it'll look like and then from here you're just going to be messing around with these and then there's no wrong way for this to look this is all your preference but let's go back to the one that we're doing i just wanted to show you guys how to remove backgrounds but let's go back to this one so now we're just gonna mess with these four so there's blur edge contrast threshold remove speckles um in reality you guys can just mess with all of these until you get the result that you like so you know just mess with all of them it might be confusing at first but i promise it'll get a lot easier and you know that's all you got to do once you get something that you like we're going to want to go right here to layers 
and then make sure that we hit this one right here so it says inlay so that way it gives us two of them Does, i hope that makes sense it'll give us two different cut files so that way we have two different colors because one will be different for dark colors and then one will be different for light colors so we're just going to want to make sure the blank layer where it says layered we hit it and it says inlay and you'll know it because it'll it'll be highlighted you know what i mean so please don't forget this this is very very important if you skip this step you might end up cutting the wrong one and it won't look right on your vinyl so once we get what we like we're going to go ahead and hit download and then you're just going to download the svg it's going to end up in your downloads folder i already did so i'm not going to go ahead and save it i don't want to have more than one in there and get confused so now we can go ahead and go to Cricut Design Space. Let's hit a new one. So now that we have a blank template, we're gonna go ahead and hit upload. And then for you guys, you'll just hit upload image, then just drag and drop, or go to the folder where you save the picture. But for me, I already did that, so it just ended up right here. So we're gonna go ahead and add to canvas. All right, now these next couple steps are very important. I want you guys to pay attention here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this pink border layer. We don't need that. And then now we have these two layers, okay? So the reason why we have two is because imagine, so you see this white background. So pretend this is a white shirt right if this is a white shirt this is what it's going to look like on there but let's see the reason why we need this one is because let's say we had a black shirt right i want to show you guys if it was a black shirt we need this one do you see how it's inverted and it's the opposite because let's say, um, you know, you try to do it the opposite way, it's it's not it's not going to it's not going to work out, you know, like, for example, watch, I'll show you what will happen. Let's change this to a different color so you can see it on the black. You see what I mean? So once you decide which one you're going to use, just delete the one that you don't need. So we're going to go ahead and delete that one. And this is the one that we're going to use because it's going on a black hoodie so that's why we ended up going with this one i don't want you guys to forget that because i made the mistake of cutting the other one my first time is using this and it didn't come out the way i wanted to and i was a little disappointed but yeah now you guys know which one you, you need to be using so let's go ahead and delete this now we're gonna go to shapes now you can import your own shape or you could just hit the shapes tab and just choose one of these i went ahead and used the star so we're going to send it to the back and I'm going to make the star black. And then now let's just position this. This could be whatever you guys want. You know, it doesn't have to be how I'm doing it. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Boom. All right. So now that we have it where we want it we're going to want to just highlight it and then we're going to want to go to slice and watch what happens so now we're going to delete that layer we're going to delete this layer and we're going to delete this layer and now this is what we're left with and like i said this could have been done with any shape but i just chose to do a star and i really really like how this came out now you could be done here but i did have text over it so let me just show you guys how i did that so let's just type the right whoa let's just type the recipe the font i did was hybrid this is free on the font we did red vinyl and then let's do this
boom all right now we don't really want to layer vinyl i mean you can depends on the brand but i think the vinyl adheres properly when it's going onto the shirt rather than on top of the vinyl like for example you see this red it's over the black so what i do is i duplicate that text layer highlight these two combine and then hit subtract so now it cut exactly where i needed to so now when i place the vinyl layer on there it's not going on top of the vinyl it's going on the shirt so that way when we heat press it it melts onto the shirt and in my opinion it just ends up lasting longer so yeah there we go guys now if you guys have any questions at this point let me know in the comment section but i pretty much showed you guys how to do it um, now let's go ahead and just make the hoodie and i'm really excited to see how this comes out all right, so on the Cricut Explorer Air 2, I set my needle pressure to iron on plus, which is the same needle pressure I would for regular vinyl. I set my heat press to 300 degrees for puff print heat transfer vinyl, and then I make sure I pre-press my garment to knock out any moisture. If this was one color, I would go ahead and do it for 10 seconds, but because it's two, I did the first one for about five seconds, and then I did the second one for about eight to 10 seconds. For projects like this, make sure you're investing in high quality heat transfer vinyl. And there you go, guys. If you made it to the end, I'm super proud of you. Make sure you hit that subscribe. And if you have any questions, meet me in the comment section. Make sure you let me know down below in the comment section what tutorial you want to see next.